What's going on guys, gals, gamers, light, Crimson here, and welcome back to some more Resident Evil 3. Today, we are finishing this. Not necessarily in this part, but we're finishing this. <laughs> um, like, I want... Mm, I don't know what to take with me, though. Honestly. We'll rock with that. I'm taking this because I'm killing the, uh... The three white... Zombies? I don't know what they're called. Pale? Pale skin zombies? Something like that? Oof. Oof. -a. I'm not killing him because that's a waste. Because I can just dodge him. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Be forced to go up the stairs slowly. Bitch. Yep. Dodge you. There's another one of you. Yep, 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 yep. I'm pretty sure I can just shoot him. Oh, wait, what? I hit the bumper. All right, I think one is enough. Like, a body shot's enough. You know what? Yeah, it's. I just... Screw it, I'm not dealing with you, but I wasn't wasting a magnum shot on you. Okay. I hit the right bumper, though. I don't know why uh, she didn't dodge. <laughs> oh, that's right. Those are my only uh, shotgun shells. Oops. Maybe, maybe I'll find more. I mean, there's something, uh... There's something in the storage area I missed? What? Oh! Well, okay then. I can make more mag rounds. Uh, magnum ammo. If I find more regular gunpowder, I can make, uh... Shoddy shells. Alright, you guys are dead. It's just the way I like it. Deaded. Cargo Nemesis. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, shipment date September 1st, 1998. Class 1 hazardous materials. All transit within the United States is to be made via helicopter. Take extreme care during takeoff and landing as shock to the parcel may potentially lead to self-activation. Oh, you don't want that. We here at the European branch are excited to hear your thoughts and evaluation of this newest prototype and are pleased to offer this specimen to you for testing. It has been through numerous trials and possesses incredible destructive power, so please exercise extreme caution when using it. Lead developer, Dr. Herman Frank. Oh, I have to thank Dr. Herman Frank for the nemesis. Oh, lovely. Thank you, Dr. Frank. Two shells. Who's the doctor in The Simpsons? Is that Dr. Frank as well? Freeze! Okay. Oh, acid rounds. Boy, howdy! Ooh. Ooh, I put the other stuff away. Alright, it went right through him. Good. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Hello. That ah, shot too early. Oops. Hello? Can you stop? And I got rid of my knife too, so. Oh! You love to see it. Awesome. We did that thing. You see that thing we did? That was an awesome thing we did. Oh, I didn't even see you. You're going to come alive when I like try to leave here or something, aren't you? Yeah. I know. I know. So I opened that door down there. That's cool. I want to see what's up here. Yep, you're alive. Oh! She got up just to have her head pop like a pimple. Okay, you're dead dead. Awesome. Oh, it's like from Resident Evil 2. Huh, an antigen sample. I'll definitely need this for the vaccine. Okay. So, what is it? A container filled with a culture for viral growth and research. Okay, so we need one more piece to puzzle. Dear Dr. Emerson, I would like to formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapons synthesis team be made available for any employees interfacing with the admission and dismissal of test subjects. These test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weaponry authorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutation grade to them very high regrowth abilities. Our team refers to these specimens as pale heads. That's what they're called. They have been appearing with regularity, but the specific cause has not yet been determined. The astonishing rate at which these pale heads regenerate makes it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. If any sort of system failure were to occur within our facility, we would be woefully underprepared to defend ourselves. For this reason, I would like to request that high-powered weaponry capable of subduing the pale heads be issued to all of our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that, in an event of emergency, we will be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safely. Thank you much for your consideration. Shipping and Processing Manager, Gabrielle Reed. I thought that was large gunpowder. That's my bad. That's my bad. That's my bad. 100% my bad. Alright, so we opened that door, so that's the next way to go. I'm going to uh, pop into the safe room. We don't need this now. We don't need all that. We don't want that. Mm. Yeah, fuck. I wanted to come back and get one of these and make more shotgun bullets. Back. Alright. This should be fine. 54 saves already. Hot damn. All right, we explored everything up here for now, right? Yeah, it's just the vaccine equipment. I can go here. Hold on a Tic Tac.
I didn't know I could walk out here. Why does this look like an area I'm gonna fu- Oh, I see- Mmm. 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 Hunters. Hmm. I'm about to go in there. What are those? Big muscular men. Are they tyrants? Oh, no. Oh, you've done it now, Jillian. You've done it now. Alright, so I am going to bring some extra ammo for this. Just in case. And I'll actually I'll probably bring my mag ammo too. Just in case. Because I don't I don't know what I'm gonna be fighting. Let me put in the explosive rounds. Um Oh. Custom part. No, hold on. Hold on. There we go. That's what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll be fine, I guess. For now, anyway. For now. Oh, what? You could stay there. Where you came from, I have no goddamn idea. Oh, they are tyrants? They are tyrants. <laughs> oh my god. And hunters. Jesus. Is this where they're made? I don't like this. Oh my god. Dude, nice bulge. Don't skip leg day, dude. Oh, when I come back, we're gonna have to fight them. Yeah. At least the hunters. At least the hunters, or one or two of the hunters, are gonna pop out. Garen fucking Teed. Okay. No way in hell they don't. Whew. Oh, oh, just. Yeah, get fucked. Okay. Reload everything. I hate wasting magnum shots. But... It's necessary. Oh my god, Jesus fucking Christ! No. No. I thought it was weird that that door was still open, but okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're we're a okay, guys. We are a okay. You're not dead. Just die, please. Alright, I guess maybe it was a good idea that I accidentally made other stuff. Jesus, 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 this is... That's fucked up. That looks like a nice rig, though.
Mega Man! Dr. Frankel. Nemesis is truly a remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research. Introducing a parasitic organism into a tyrant's brain to gain external control of it. How can I not marvel at such a wild idea? However, from a medical perspective, I must emphatically state my disapproval of this shift away from established umbrella policy. By turning to use of parasites, you are setting a dangerous precedent. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth, with abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like Plasmodium are far more genetically complex than the T-virus, and to think they will submit to control is utter folly. Perhaps in your country, consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes, but here in America, they know better. Then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. I look forward to your talk at the forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you foisted on us. Sincerely, Nathaniel Bard. So it's called the Nemesis. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. So it came from Europe. Does that mean the Nemesis potentially has a Plagas? Hmm. Interdasting. Very, very interdasting. An adjuvant sample. These are combined with antigens to increase immune system response. Alright. We're gonna fight you guys now. That door opening sounded like something bigger was coming. Oh, I didn't like that. Alright. Alright, so we're out of there. I think we're done with this area now. And there's fuckface McGee over here. Oh, 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 dickhead. All right. I think he is stuck there for all eternity, so we should be fine. Okay. Let's take that, put you away, put you away, put you away, put you there, yada yada yada. I can make the... See, I can make some shotgun shells, but I kind of don't want to right now, just in case. Yeah, that seems fine. We're about to do something important, so I'm assuming we're gonna... Fight Nemi or something? I don't know. Fight more hunters, fight something. Hmm. 
Okay. Alright, put you in there. I'm sorry, what? Oh, I gotta combine it. Dumbass. Controller! Oh, what is this shit? Um, uh, mm, mm, mm. What am I doing here? <laughs> what? What am I doing here? Much, much, much later. I really don't know. Like, what? Oh, I got it! Awesome! <laughs> awesome! Ooh, he's a nice color. Mm. Hello, Jillian. <laughs> Remember me? Mm. Yeah, see, we are gonna fight Nemi. Fuck. Are we not? No, we should be fine. All right, guys. But anyway, I am going to end this video here. I think we're getting to the end. Um, we've got the vaccine. In my mind, all we have to do is find Carlos, start the self-destruct sequence, and get the hell out of here. So I'm assuming that's what we're going to do. Maybe shoot Nikolai in the face if we find him. I don't know. Fuck that guy. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video.